He's doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, <laughs> Eric did that. Eric. He did it. I you did do it. fish. George, give me that mouse. <laughs> Why don't you move your computer? Give, just give me the mouse. Boy, you can't see anything over there. <sighs> you don't play modern warfare while we're doing Baka. We haven't started yet. I want to play Luigi Mansion <laughs> 3! I want to play Pokemon. It seems like we it's all want different things. It's not even open yet. I can look at it. Hey, you punk! That better not be the smell of slacking off! It's a king, sir! A king! Roger that! What the fun house? Don't hold me back. Perfect. What jolly holiday ideas have you come up with? All right. Which one of you is next? Step forward. Penalty! Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bakataka, the world's greatest weeb podcast out there. Sitting on the left, it's George. Sitting in the middle, it's your boy, Eric. And sitting on the right, it's me, Chase. And you're listening to Bakataka Season 2, Episode 8. Still got it. Still got to say, not sure I totally understand the point of the season thing. Yeah, me either. It's I don't season... get it. It gets me excited, though, that we're getting the double digit of Season mm. 2, though. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what season? What what episode is it again? Season 2. Oh, Episode 8. Episode 8. <laughs> I did, I, that's on me. I did start saying season. Episode 8. That's not double digits. But we're getting close. We're, he to said digits. we're getting close. We're getting close. What is what's the what's the line for upping the season? Is it just like all right? Episode twelve. Is that it? Yeah, I think yeah. he just wants to do cores. You know. Okay. Two cores yeah. throughout a year, one whole season. But then it comes down to like, is it the Noitamina core? Or it, it's you know it's because the... those are eleven episodes. <gasps> Ooh. We're thirteen. Ooh, maybe we switch it up. Maybe we're on a new, different channel this season. How do the extra episodes fit in? Is it like there's one? No, they're, OBAs. Just, they're, they're just OBAs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're just random OBAs they're, that just they're, come they're out on Netflix. Do we just, they're ONAs. Do we just rename the episodes OBA? Oh, yeah, the, those would be ONAs. Original. Yeah, which is what. What like, is that, net The Netflix exclusives. Yeah. Original net animation, is that yeah. what it means? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be great. They're basically web series. But. Yeah. I released, a re- a re- released originally online. Yeah. Hey, we just finished our Luigi's Mansion. Let's play. We finished yeah. shooting. We yes. haven't, because how many have uploaded so far? Five, uh, six. Six. Yeah, six. Six came six up today. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we've got The other three more. are not going to come out before this. No, <laughs> no, no, no. But we've yeah. got three more that will be coming out in the following days. You've been doing Four. it, what, every other every other day? I've been doing it, like, every three days, every three it days. seems like. No, that's a good way of doing yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to do it every other day, but I just haven't been up with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me, I mean, is it just because you don't want to upload it? Or you well, no, it's game? because it's like, like, I'll do it one time, and then the next day I'll play, like, a game, and the next day is, like, church, <laughs> and then the next day I'll, I'll do another but one. Can't you set, like, a release schedule for them? Yeah, you can. Yes, but you still have to do the upload process of it, and then you have to literally hit publish at this time and then it's good to go which so, means you still have to go through the whole upload phase of it which takes like well, I mean, just two still, hours i would say just like take a day can it not do them concurrently do yes but I, so i like these the first like four i edited and then i put like one out and then i put like the next one and stuff like that and then these last two i like put edited them and then i put them out immediately yeah. i mean since we're kind of bulk recording them i say just kind of bulk upload them one night or one yeah. day yeah and just say do this one at this time this yeah. one at this time and this one at this time like just have them in the queue right. and you don't have to worry but about we them. didn't bulk right. record this time. no that's <laughs> right yeah we literally had spoilers it was the final episode we didn't realize it was just yeah we weren't one sure this one might be a little it actually i'm not sure because i think it'll be good yeah i don't think it's going to be much longer than the others because there was no. some stuff there was right. some like walking around and stuff that we're just yeah. going to speed through because that's and we'll probably need to watch that edit some, edit some of the boo captures and, like, yeah the dust some of those, oh my gosh those high those high health boos disgusting I oh was, my gosh they at, do their thing at first it wasn't bad but when it, when their tanks like 300 health mm-hmm. that's just that's a that's felt that's, like a nightmare to do that's with. too dang much well i mean it was so it wouldn't be bad if it was one of the bigger rooms on like the second floor 
but you're dealing with it in that dusty room that very oh, confined space yeah. yeah the basement has some of like they're they're interesting rooms mm-hmm. but you don't want to spend time in them <laughs> yeah you just want to be one and done the fact that that dusty one is one that you have to pass through is what's annoying yeah yeah, if, yeah. If, it if was, that one was off to the side yeah. or whatever. If it was off to the side up. where you didn't have to go all the way through it, not nearly as bad, yeah. but you have to go all the way through whenever you need to use it. And they, it. like, try to help you cheat by it with the little... Gravity The things. gravity thing, but you still have to suck up a few of ways. But it still only works in one direction, <laughs> yeah. too. It was... Eh. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I said it during the episode if you're designing a level don't do that don't do that if you do that reset it on like a save and restart or cool. like an entire like load zone yeah because you yeah, can yeah, clear yeah. out the room with all those dust piles that you have to suck up so that you can like just walk through everything yeah. but they as soon as you leave the room and go back in they they respawn it's so. like sorry you trapped me dude yeah it was yeah so it will look frustrating to deal with. I enjoyed the game. It was I enjoyed fun. it too, surprisingly. I like Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm glad that... Or, sorry, Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion, Mansion that 3. I beat a third time. I'm thinking... I'm thinking <laughs> I got Luigi's Mansion 3 on the brain. That came out yesterday, and yeah. I am so. loving it. Yeah. I mean, I mean since we're talking about Luigi's Mansion, might as well just jump right into that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, you, we didn't work out Thursday because... I, I turned on my Switch and saw George playing Luigi's Mansion 3. I was just like, well, it's just... You're just like, this is, gonna, today. this is gonna happen. Literally... <laughs> All day. I took the day off of work. I was just like, you know what? How have you not beat it yet, though? Huh? Have you not beat it yet, though? So, I oh, like is it because you, you don't know, know I like anything. to collect everything. Yeah, so and you I'm don't know what to do. Yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Just going every nook and cranny. So, but he I, also, he hasn't played it before. So, yeah. he's learning yeah. what to do. So, I think if I went just straight through the story and only did, hey, here's what your next task is, I probably could have beat it. Um, or at least been like right at the end. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that I've got through three fourths of the game though already. And that was like, you know, going through things and really digging in and exploring stuff. And there's still stuff that I've missed. Like oh. I haven't got everything. I think this, I think is kind of similar to Mario Odyssey in that I'm going to beat the game and then I'm going to go and collect, make sure I collect everything and like really 100%. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. Mario Odyssey, you know, I, I literally 100% percent in that game there's nothing i didn't do right um you know what game you should 100 percent ahead in time i've heard ahead in time is really good it's, I haven't, I haven't played it. it's fantastic so and i've heard game. it's really similar to mario odyssey in mm-hmm. a lot of ways it's it's actually very different because ahead in time is it, it's too short is the one of the problems is because it only it was made by like three people and oh the, wow! That's yeah, it, it was made by a very small team. Mm-hmm. It's too short, but like the everything <laughs> is so satisfying to do, and every level is completely different and stuff like that because that's there's cool. Not as many levels and stuff like that. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I I would like to get to that at some point, and it is oh, on Switch, yeah. isn't it? It's on like everything now. Yeah, it's got a perfect score on Steam and Green Man Gaming. It's got a ninety eight percent on Google. Yeah. yeah it's I mean, really it's really it's highly rated. Funny. Yeah. Isn't I, it what like ukulele promised people yeah yeah and then yeah. hat and time to yeah, get better yeah, yeah. and like it just kind of it, came out of nowhere the, didn't it the, well yeah i mean well it was kickstarted as well oh, it was, as yeah. i didn't realize that mm-hmm. but like the the traversal mechanics and everything and the like satisfaction of like collecting everything mm-hmm. and being a level and like just the plat- platforming mechanics are like really good that's cool yeah. and stuff. you're All doing done in yeah. unreal 3 so that's pretty cool yeah real but, good game yeah Unreal three, yeah, Unreal. They 3. have Unreal four though, don't they? Yeah, but this, uh, <coughs> this was made time. like a year or two ago. Yeah, two thousand seventeen. I thought Unreal it was 4 the same. Has been out for years. This came out when Odyssey. This came out like a month before Odyssey. Yeah, came out. yeah. Uh, let's see, Unreal four. Well, look, uh, you look that up and get back to us in a sec. Oh yeah, I definitely will. And then I'll start talking about Luigi's Mansion three. Well, well okay. here's a couple things I want to hit on this. Oh yeah. So, I'm a big fan of Luigi's Mansion, yeah. the whole series. I loved. One is a great game, one of my favorite games. It's got its it's not without its problems. It's got some issues. We all know that. Yes. Yeah. Luigi's <laughs> Mansion 2, I really liked. The only aspect of that game that I wasn't a huge fan of. Um I guess there'd be two things. No story. No, it had a story. Mm-hmm. The problem was the the game was less open world, and by open world I mean like you just kind of explore the mansion or whatever at your leisure. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess you could say that wasn't really the case with 
Luigi's Mansion, the, the first one on GameCube either. Yeah. Because it was really linear. Yeah. It was really linear. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, yeah, yeah. they guide you straight up with keys on where to go. It, exactly. There's like none of that. Um, so Luigi's Mansion 2, you could do a little bit more free exploring. Like you didn't have to find keys necessarily to open the next door all the time. Obviously, that was still in the game. Right. But it was less... It wasn't just every single door. Yeah. Like it almost was exclusively in Luigi's Mansion. But in 2, or Dark Moon on 3DS, it was mission-based. So you'd have, I think, four mansions. They had four different mansions. Mm -hmm. Each one was smaller than probably the one in the original game. Wow, probably. Stop. (laughs) Um, Stop it. (laughs) And then because it was mission-based, you'd have... I think five or six missions in each and you would yeah. do, you would explore different parts of the mansion, but there was no way to just go back and just explore yeah. the whole mansion at once as you wanted. No, like uh, no free roam <clears throat> mode. Yeah. So that was one of the things I wasn't a huge fan of. And the other was the ghosts. Um, they redesigned all the ghosts and I really liked, you know, the designs from the first one. Yeah. 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 Um, the, the average ghosts, like the ones you just go into a room, they just appear out of nowhere and you catch them or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Totally fine with that. That wasn't a problem. Uh, they redesigned those. They had some of the kind of the same aspects, but they had, you know, it was updated. It came out, yeah, yeah, yeah. what, 12 years after? Yeah. It, it, it had yeah. been a long while. So I think that was really good. I was mostly disappointed that there were no ghosts that really had any character. Because mm-hmm. in the first one, you have all the ghosts that are like, they're different people and stuff. Yeah, 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 and they're all in their different Grandma rooms. Grandma different yeah. and Miss Petunia and, and the dog and yeah. this and that. And they have like interactions with each other behind the like how they play pranks and stuff on each other it, and how to beat them. Exactly. There's a little bit of story there. The yeah. second one didn't really have that. The only ghosts that I can really recall having any kind of uh, uh, background and not even necessarily background, just like character, like the the ghosts that stand out. There's Polter Pop. The little ghost mm-hmm. dog that basically becomes Luigi's pet. Nice. Which is oh, yeah, great. I see that. Yeah, he yeah, makes yeah. it into the third one, um, which is awesome. Still love him. He's great. He's Jack Skelling. King Boo, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, the ghost bosses, I think there's five ghost bosses. Okay. But they're not like, they're not like interesting. They're just bigger versions of like those basic ones on them. Yeah. Boss, that's yeah. and they have like they have a special design or whatever but they're not like oh you're talking about that boss no it's like they're all the same and i think they had a different number of horns uh, <laughs> like oh one horn two horn three horns so something like same that thing, yeah it's just it's crazy because in past mario games they've done that but they did it a really good job because they like super mario world 2 mm-hmm. like sometimes you'll get to the boss of the world but uh <laughs> the koopa magician will come in and spray a little magic on it it'll just get bigger but then they'll change like the design but keep the basic idea of the basic like the basic enemy oh. but they like put character into it so that's like, kind of cool they've done that in the past so it's kind of crazy that in Luigi's Mansion 2 that they just make a bigger enemy with no real character to it yeah so so those the bosses were not the greatest yeah um I wasn't a huge fan of the mission base but I understand why they did it because it was on 3ds it was meant to be a more compact play in sessions kind of game so i understand that yeah and then um the only other stuff was just like little technical things not all of like the added features and stuff like the uh the new abilities and things not all of them were implemented super well um yeah the online um as far as i remember and i i didn't do a whole there's online online. Yeah, there was in the second one. And there is still in the third one. And I think the third one does similar stuff. But from what I've seen in reviews, oh, yeah, I have not yeah. tried it in the third one. But I've heard it's better than yeah, it was okay. in the second. Even though it's still a very similar mode. You get that Gooigi? You do. Yeah, Gooigi is great. Um, but yeah, Luigi's Mansion 2. A couple little problems. Wasn't a huge fan of some of their design choices and the way they did things. But other than that, whatever. Mm-hmm. Luigi's Mansion 3. Yeah. Oh. It might actually be my favorite at this point. As long as the last quarter of the game holds up to the first three. Right. It's awesome. It's it's great because it does things that number one did really well, but kind of expands on them. 
The yeah. mansion feels more connected. It feels like one thing. So it's not yeah. actually a mansion now. It's uh, this skyscraper hotel. <laughs> That's cool. It's, it's got like... Um, so they're just turning Luigi into like a uh, Ghostbuster. Pretty much. And I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this time he's using the Poltergust G00. <laughs> goo. Goo. Poltergust goo. He's got, at a, at a certain point in the game, you get Gooigi, mm -hmm. the ability to use Gooigi, yeah. so he can create this goo version of himself that can do slightly different abilities and stuff, and you can do that to solve puzzles. Some of the puzzles have actually been pretty good. Um, it's still a kid's game. Yeah. So nothing super difficult or anything. Right, but right, right, right. right. You just have some fun solving little puzzles, making sure you're doing things in the right order, you know. Gotta yeah. love it. And the game has done a really good job. It keeps it linear enough that you know what you're supposed to be doing and yeah. you kind of know how to do it. But it's not as hand-holding as some of the previous stuff in, in the first two games have been. Yeah. So there's still more freedom. Um it's linear in that the way you progress through the story, you unlock levels and stuff. It's beat a boss. Yeah. You can move to the next area and yeah. so on. But you can always go back and do things in other areas. So if you're like, all right, let's just pause this, go try to search for some collectibles and stuff and the things I've already done, you can go back and do that no problem. Mm. So it's, it's actually really good that way. You can just free open world once you've discovered open a new... Mansion open yeah <laughs> open skyscraper open yeah. skyscraper so as soon as, oh, as, soon as you <laughs> as yeah as soon as you've activated a floor and you can go there mm -hmm. you can just kind of do whatever you want and just cool. knock yourself out the ghosts and stuff in this they're the same style as they were in uh the second game but they're even better Mm -hmm. You'll just walk in and you'll find them doing things in different rooms. You'll find them, you'll find like them in made clothes, <laughs> like dusting and cleaning things around. And you're just like, yeah. And th sometimes it's like they don't even notice you or anything. Like you could just walk right, by they, sometimes. Yeah. And it's just like they're just doing their thing. They're just ghosts working in a hotel. <laughs> you <laughs> that's know? pretty cool. So nice. they've added a bunch of life to it. It's, it's so well done. And that's the other cool thing because each floor. Though it still feels like the entire skyscraper is, the entire hotel is uh, matched together really well and feels like cohesive, mm -hmm. each floor still feels, feels like its very own thing. Yeah. You've uh -huh. got different areas. You've got this mm -hmm. uh, one floor that's styled like a movie uh, studio. Yeah. You've got a floor that's like the desert and pyramids mm -hmm. so and they're... all kinds of different, a castle. Yeah. You have so, a literal castle. Theme rooms are back. It's yeah. it's really cool. How the, many the, how the many floors is, is there? Or do you not know? So the the game has it looks like fifteen floors and two basement, two levels in the basement. So seventeen floors, floors total. Mm -hmm. And each and each floor sometimes has levels. So some are just literally one flat floor, mm -hmm. but some are a floor and then in that floor there's like multiple layers to it's it. It's like here's the uh, balcony uh, area. So you can floor. you can be on one floor and still go up like four or five flights of stairs. Yeah. Uh depending okay. on a, depending on mm -hmm. the map. It's and like some betrayal. of them are, some are really contained and it's actually really small but there's still stuff to do and some are like huge and it seems yeah, almost yeah. overwhelming by how much like you have to like run around and stuff yeah and some are like almost exclusively just for a boss fight and then you're done but it's still <laughs> really cool yeah it's had some really good set pieces i am i am a fan of the game it has great charm mm -hmm. and with the updated graphics and stuff obviously it just looks amazing it's got such a rich cartoony kind of feel to it yeah very very good mm -hmm. and luigi his expressions when he gets scared and stuff are just perfect in this game. I absolutely love him and all the characters. Yeah. Is he, uh, I can't wait to finish Does he it. still like shake and everything like he does oh, in the first one? constantly. And does he uh, still whistle the same tune? He does. And I, so some of the music and stuff. So in this one, uh, in the first one, they had the Game Boy Horror. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. the second one. Oh, the Game Boy he, Horror Advance? No, I think he uses a, a 3DS. Oh, I forget okay. what the I forget what the 
pun there is. Dang. Oh, I can't remember. It's gonna. Bro, we thought you said you turned your phone on silent. Killing I guess, alarm, I guess, man. I guess our alarms overlap. It's time <laughs> to brush my teeth. Your phone won't silence alarms unless you tell it to. Yeah, yeah I know. Even if you put on like that's actually that's something. actually good because then it happened last episode account. too. True. No, it didn't. Did it? Yeah, it did. Did it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I guess on, I man. just don't care about the five guys. <laughs> <laughs> but in this one, the the pun the pun item that you use to talk with E Gad yeah, yeah, and do yeah. stuff, the virtual boo. <laughs> Played on the virtual boy. Nice. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Nice. And when it like rings, yeah, it's got like the old tune. And the elevator music is kind of a riff on some of the sounds from the old, the first game and stuff. It's, I love it. I absolutely love it. Anyone who has any interest in Luigi's Mansion definitely, definitely should play. But uh, mm. enough about that. We've got other stuff to talk yeah. about. Well, I mean, when you were mentioning the expressions on Luigi's face, and so that, mm-hmm. that reminded me of a game that I just beat recently as well, and one character in that game, which was uh, the new Modern Warfare game, and <laughs> Captain. What a segue! Captain Captain Price is one of the cheekiest. Like he he his facial expressions whenever he says something smart and stuff like that, mm-hmm. his cheeks like his cheekbones like go up, and his like mustache is like it, uh... goes around. Is it the same Price? That's it's been it's the Call of Duty it's games? a different version of the same Price. Okay, but yeah, which. That Captain Price is also in the original Call of Duty, yeah. Call of Duty Classic, and he's like a prisoner in there. So he's in World War Two, and then he's also Modern Warfare. Yeah. And so, so he jumps, you know, time. I just know there's, there's like a price in like every like Call of Duty. Yeah, it, it's it's mainly uh, the Treyarch, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Ones. Or or Infinity War. Infinity yeah, yeah, War yeah, not yeah, Treyarch. Yeah. Treyarch is the Black Ops. Yeah, ones Black, and so Black Ops. Like. Anyway, it looks good. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. It feels like a prequel kind of reboot kind of thing uh-huh. but i'm not sure and i think there's going to be a second one okay with the way it ends because I've, I've given up on wait so it's not the same story as the original model no movie? no if anything it would be a prequel because the at the end of it he puts together a team and the team is the characters from modern warfare one and two i honestly thought they just updated their graphics from the first game no that's no. what i thought so they did that i've never played they any did call was of duty. it the first modern warfare call of duty 4 yes call of duty 4 modern warfare and then they made when infinite warfare came out they caught made call of duty 4 modern warfare remastered yeah so they made that was an updated version of the original modern warfare yeah Ooh. and so this one is basically like a reboot kind of thing and yeah. stuff like that, but also like a prequel kind of thing they and, should have done better with their marketing, man. Yeah. Because I didn't hear anything about it until like a week before it came out. And I, yeah, I also heard thought it, it was a, a while ago. I thought it was just a remake. I I there was there was some other game. I think it was Borderlands. Mm-hmm. And so I, I heard nothing about Borderlands until it came out. I mean, I heard a bunch of stuff about Borderlands. I only knew about Call of Duty is because some people were streaming the beta. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah, like the yeah. only that's like the only there thing. There was a beta? Yeah. Ben <laughs> played the beta. He tried to get me to play beta. Like, did? SCP, Ben. Really? Yeah. Wait, Ben, I play with all the yeah. time, Ben? Oh. Yeah, he was like, hey, the beta's out, man. Come on, get it. <laughs> and I was like, but we're all playing SCP right now. Uh, <laughs> and so we could, we convinced him to jump over and play that with us. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice. Huh. Yeah. Well. But anyway, yeah, it's fun. I the He's like naming three characters at the end, and he names, uh, what's it called, Gaz mm-hmm. and uh, John McTavish. And he's like, he goes by soap. And they're like, why do they call him that? He's like, it's classified. <laughs> and then they also named this other guy Sam something or whatever and stuff like that. And they're like, "There's no picture of him anywhere." And they're like, that's because mm-hmm. he's a ghost. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's like, oh, that's ghost. That's his name. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, it I, I like that ending. It was very anticlimactic yeah. at the end, in my opinion, though. So they're going with like the Star Wars route and just rebooting it. Well, see, I'm not 100 percent sure on that because I don't know if they're gonna make another one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and at it uh the way this one ended it was like all right that's cool i guess you know? yeah so that it was fun playing it more there's some cool levels in it where you're like sneaking through buildings and you're like breaching through floors and stuff okay in the dark and so like nice. you'll turn off the power and you have to use your night vision goggles or else you can't see anything that's in like ghost recon stuff they did that a lot in that yeah, game. yeah 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 like if you take them off it's like it's as it's, if yeah. the lights were off in the air and i remember so. uh one of the ghost recons on ps2 you you just need to go through a field 
And if you decide to take off your night vision, it is literally pitch black. Yeah, yeah. The enemies don't wear night vision, so they're just blind. Yeah, they're so just like... <laughs> it is, they're it is trying to flash flashlights everywhere. Yeah, it is a, literally yeah. pitch black. Well, yeah. Night vision ain't cheap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the game certainly, the new Modern Warfare, it looks absolutely amazing. It does look really Like, good. visually, wow. That's impressive, because you were playing it just a minute before we started recording. Mm-hmm. Those character models, like in the cutscene and even out of the cutscene, everything still looks amazing. But like in the cutscene, yeah. they do does close ups of their faces. Mm-hmm. It honestly looks because you were saying that you're like, wait for the close up. That's because the Terminator is yeah, how this game looks. Yeah. Honestly, only shy of photorealistic, mm-hmm. almost exclusively because if they made it any better, it would have made the rest of the game look worse. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. They all, it's almost like. They were like, we could do even better, but we have to dumb it down just enough <laughs> so that, so that these don't right. look amazing and the rest of the game doesn't. It looks mm. like dog poop. It looks, <laughs> I mean, it looks really nice. I mean, some things do that where they'll just invest everything into like their opening cinematic. Like the Order 1886. Yeah. And then you can see the game, game getting progressively like worse and yeah. less effort put into it by the yeah. end. That's unfortunate. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't, great or anything but <laughs> i enjoyed enjoyable. my i enjoyed my time with it. Yeah. i guess if you enjoy yeah. the campaigns because i haven't played a whole lot of call of duty campaigns oh i've played like all of them i know i know <laughs> i know I, re- I really enjoy the military shooters they're that's fun. cool nice yeah i'm feeling it what you've been playing recently what have i been playing so wow <laughs> <laughs> actually i've been coming back on that because I got other things. Yeah, I, knew I, I noticed that. I mean, Eventually. I mean, I'm you still playing, play WoW. I'm playing WoW, but I got other things I want to get into. Yeah. Because I've been, I've watched some of the anime. <gasps> okay. We'll get that later. But okay. the main thing I've been playing a lot of and getting back into is back in a bunch of Pokemon. Ooh. Because yeah. in two weeks, when we record yes. the next episode of Bakataka, I am literally going to be playing Pokemon while we're recording. Oh, I know. So. <laughs> Be ready for yes. it. We understand. So what's the fifteenth Sword and Shield come out. I'm pumped up. I got my pre purchase on digital for Shield already. Nice. And I got my pre order from Amazon of Sword coming in. So nice. Pumped up to do that. But so So you're waiting on that Farfetch. Sir Far I I'm actually pumped up for Sir Farfetch. But what I've actually been playing though was uh that dumb ROM hack. I think I've talked about it on one of these episodes before. That really hard ROM hack that, that I was does. playing. Yeah, the Nuzlocke yeah. of the really hard ROM. Oh, you're doing a Nuzlocke? Yeah. That, uh, so I didn't realize it was a ROM hack. I thought it was just yeah. rules you put on yourself. So yeah, it's rules you put on yourself, but I'm doing it on a really hard ROM hack. So the the ROM is not, it's not a Nuzlocke. No. You do Nuzlocke yeah. on the hard ROM hack. Yes. Why? <laughs> so, <laughs> so Are you a masochist? <laughs> it's, it's just a challenge to it. So like the ROM hack is hard already. Ooh. And I've tried over and over and over to try and beat it. Mm-hmm. After about six or seven failures, I finally done it. You beat <laughs> I it. Finally beat it. Nice. It was a lot of. So what makes it harder? Okay, so is it just levels and stuff? So or trainers what, and things. Or what uh the guy uh, Dreano makes these ROM hacks. They're really okay. hard. He basically, uh, every single Pokemon is available in the region. So oh. what do you mean every single Pokemon, every, every single everything Pokemon. from Pokemon number one mm-hmm. up to whatever was released in black and white. So every gen, okay, yeah. everything every gen can that be you can put in that everything game. can be caught in there. Legendaries, wow. Everything. So are the legendaries like a? Can you just find them in the wild, like yeah, in wild, wild grass? Yep. He okay. put, he puts them on random routes and stuff. Like in uh, there's the Dream Yard and uh, so it's the where the first gym leader is mm-hmm. they're part of the story is you go to the dream yard get some dream dust beat up some of the team plasma members yeah but in that area you have a one percent chance to find a level 30 jirachi just in the wild yeah so are they still legendary in the sense that you can only find it once and if you no, find it they are wild encounters so you can keep you can just keep fi- okay yeah. so i actually had to abuse that to beat the game i bet so but it's he updates the game where everything is catchable Mm -hmm. he updates all the trainers to have uh or all the gym leaders have six pokemon okay that makes sense and their pokemon have competitive movesets perfect natures perfect ivs 
So they are competitive. They are, hard. they are competitive ready Pokemon. Did he change the AI of how they choose? Yes. They will. He, it's updated. It's not like perfect AI where they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like constantly switch out. It's just updated AI. So they're smarter. Okay. But, uh, they know how to hurt you. Yeah. And like the regular trainers, they have updated Pokemon and then maybe some updated movesets, but so they're the, not all Are the ready. levels higher yeah. than too? Levels okay, are definitely so higher. Okay, so they're even harder in the same yeah. area. Because, okay. uh, I think normally the last trainer gets this. His Hydra, uh, Hydreigon's like 60, 60 something. Mm -hmm. And the ROM hack is like 75. Okay. So, so it still scales though with the beginning of the game toward the end. Yeah. Right. Okay. He, That's good. He, that makes sense. He updates some of the Pokemon to help with training and he actually gives you like cheat codes in the documentation to be like, yeah, this game's hard. Like if you need to like rebattle trainers and stuff, here's some cheat codes to let you like ease some of the training if you need to <laughs> nice. and like he gives you lucky eggs during the middle of the game did you have to do any of that or what? did you go did you just go hard like i just hard use... went in like nice. i just no cheat codes in. no no cheat codes nice. i just went in lots nice. of grinding okay. i like that Here lots of just going through the game Here it was why didn't you just play coliseum or something I, I've actually never played the 3D games. Like you that. never played Coliseum no, or I've XD? Never I never played I got, XD or Coliseum. I got for DX or like DX. soft locked in Coliseum. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it gets to a point where like if you don't do everything perfectly, you yeah. just can't beat that freaking Intei. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't win. Yeah, that happens a lot in the 3D games. Like the only 3D games I played were uh, Stadium, Stadium Two. Yeah. Okay, I played those. Yeah. Just, just play Sword and Shield. I'm sure those won't be broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. I just. I'm excited. I'm so pumped up to play Sword and Shield. Like it's getting me. Really back in, I say it a lot, but it's getting me back into it. I played a lot of Battle Royale. I think I think that's what it was called. It was the one with uh, Diamond and Pearl that you could sync up to the Wii and stuff like that. You could, yeah. It was it was I basically know, the Wii yeah, Stadium it, one. Revolution I, or whatever. Revolution. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I remember yeah. That. that. I played a lot of that. That was that was that was a good. I time. played a lot of the Gym Leader Castles and Stadium Stadium Two, just mm -hmm. to see if I can get through it with like rental mm -hmm. teams and stuff like that. And it usually just evolved into like taking Electrode and Voltorb and exploding and hoping I could one shot him. <laughs> Col Coliseum was like, a, it was a good idea, uh -huh. but it just, they didn't work it well because like the fact that you couldn't catch wild Pokemon yeah. and so that, that's awful. The, they oh. forced you to only catch these ones, specific ones, yeah. which means you can't catch them all. It was just like they, you can't. A Pokemon game where you can't catch them yeah. all. If they Bad made, idea. If they made like those ones like stronger and stuff like that, it's like they're being like, or, yeah. or, if, or if it was like the fact that you were like saving them and stuff like that because yeah. i think that's what you're that, doing is what you're saving them a pokemon game where you can't catch them all should have been left on the cutting table where <laughs> yeah. it belongs it's like so they did that in coliseum and they goofed and then they came around with gale of darkness where like you can catch some pokemon but then they added a whole new typing of like the shadow yeah because uh, you have to say you have to cleanse them of their shadow and they yeah. have these special shadow moves and there's just yeah. A whole new typing that didn't make sense and, that was introduced in the game. In Coliseum, I think they were dark ones that were being like abused by dark or whatever. And yeah, so that, and you could capture them from them. It's just like you're like you mind. They added so many mechanics into it that are just like they go against everything you believe as like a Pokemon player. Mm -hmm. It's like you're stealing Pokemon from other trainers, which is like you're not you can't catch trainers Pokemon. Yeah, but in these games, you're literally taking them from other yeah. trainers and you can't catch them all. So yeah, it's just like. I, this is everything yeah. you, everything you've embedded you into us. The core of Pokemon. I, I would have really enjoyed doing, those Pokemon games company? if you could catch wild Pokemon. Yeah. If you were just wearing a yeah. with that, yeah. I would like... Well, now they're doing really a game good. like that where you can. Hey. <laughs> what if I told you there's a Pokemon game that is 3D well, and well, you can you. catch them all? Well, well also, kind of. like, yeah, the concept of it was kind of cool because you were like, Mm -hmm. You yeah. felt like like a like an agent, like you're like saving the world. That's so, true. Yeah. There's a lot of good dialogue in those games. Like if yeah. you just talk to random NPCs, yeah. there's a lot of fun dialogue in those yeah. games too. Like and they put a lot I, of effort into that. What did I use? I used I found some Quagsire or something like that. I and I, I like he carried me like like or he was like the only oh, one that's I used. Amazing. I love me some Quagsire. Yeah. Like you it's, it's, so you find some weird Pokemon that you really enjoy and you end up enjoying to yeah. use, especially in Nuzlocks. Yeah, because I, I never would have used Quagsire yes. if, I, if he wasn't oh, one of the yeah. only options there. Yeah. So in uh, the Drayana ROM hack, he uh, he updates some Pokemon. Like uh, Volcarona is a bug fire Pokemon, mm -hmm. and he gave it the ability Drought. Drought calls in the sun. So in Generation 5, weather's permanent. So it just calls in the sun, it's there. It makes Volcarona absolutely ridiculous. ridiculous. It actually, Solid. She actually carried me to the end of the game. But... I caught a Cherim on the way and evolved into a Cherubi. Mm -hmm. This thing, 
is the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, I it's always useless it in the base game. Yeah, but its ability, Flower Gift, is it gets a lot stronger in the sun. But I was like, I have a Volcarona <laughs> and now knows Drought. I'm gonna use this thing, and he lets he gave po- like some Pokemon new like uh, ability or moves to like help their move set. It's so, like he gave it Weather Ball, and then it learned Solar Beam naturally. I was like, okay. This thing's actually a monster now. <laughs> it's cool. So I ended up just like smacking the Elite Four with a Volcarona and a Cherubi. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be. Just yeah. think about that from their perspective. Yeah. Like, That's well, embarrassing. <laughs> it was just like, so all the main, like most of the gym battles and most of the Elite Four battles were all double battles. So it was just oh. freakishly hard to just get through it because you had to plan so far. Like, it. It's, I've always hated double battles. Yeah, it's gotten to the point and where triple I triple battles. Oh, there's one triple. There's battles. one triple battle in there. It's the worst thing. Skyla, the gym, uh, flying gym. It's just hard because they all know Brave Bird and they spam it. And flying moves are some of the hardest hitting moves in the game. Just only have two Pokemon. They, I don't. They won't let you challenge the gym battle then. Wait, seriously? Yeah. That's genius. Because in in I know in some speed runs of Pokemon games, they'll actually just sit on having one Pokemon. Yeah. To force the game to not have double battles because they take longer. Yeah, because I, I think you can do that in a uh, Gen three like Ruby Sapphire against uh, Tate and Liza. I think you can. No, wait, no, you have to have two Pokemon to fight them. So I'm not really sure. <laughs> I know I there's. Some, I know there's some. Older games. I know there's some trainer battles you can force to only fighting one at a time. Maybe not gym leaders then. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure Tate and Liza force you to have two Pokemon to fight them. That's but, hilarious. Uh, yeah, I finally gotten through that dumb ROM hack after like seven or eight tries. I've played that game so many times now that I actually like learn dumb things to cheat through it. Like uh, there's one point in the game where you're high enough level to repel through the areas, but you can get to the right areas in them to force encounters with legendaries. Oh. Uh... So I forced encounter with a Zapdos and a Cresselia. And they help carry me through the game. Nice. Yeah. I like so Persona. It, it's just things like it's just things like that. So I finally got through that. He's got a bunch of other games I need to eventually conquer through. But okay. I finally beat that dumb game that's been haunting me for like a year. Nice. So has he done one for like every generation? He's done black and white, mm-hmm. black and white two, yeah. uh heart gold, soul silver, and I think within the last year he's done platinum. Okay. Nice. So, uh, respectable. Yeah. He's on the move. Yep. Man. So they're all they're all really hard. They're all really good. If you like challenges, definitely check out Drayano Pokemon ROM hacks. But beyond that, I'm still pumped for Sword and Shield. Oh I'm yeah. Getting, I'm getting back into competitive battling. Getting back oh, on. Dang. Getting back on Pokemon Showdown. Get a, challenging the ladder. Pull up your belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I, I want to get into VGC, the official Nintendo circuit. Yeah, that'd be cool for a uh, Sword and Shield. Get into it. Not like not like go to actual oh, yeah. competitions, but like just get challenging because the... they're they're adding like an actual like ladder system or elo ladder system to it. Okay, where like uh you can climb through the different ranks and blah blah blah, et cetera, et cetera. So so you guys have pre-ordered games on Amazon before. I haven't yet. Yeah. Do you usually get the games early yeah. or no? It's day the, of? it's the day of, but it's whenever normal mail gets yeah. out. So the mail won't rush to get there. So like you've never you don't, you there's like no chance of you actually getting it early yeah. by. Yeah. I mean Amazon can screw up. <clears throat> I like it because like I'll be at work and then it'll arrive at the house. So I don't have to go anywhere. You know? Yeah, it's just yeah. like I come home and it's there. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a game that I like not antsy to play, I'll just wait until it shows up. Yeah. But something like this, I'm antsy to play. I'm going to play at the turn midnight. of midnight. <laughs> so your internet goes out and the game can't connect to let the, you know if it's, it's, it's already downloaded so. it, oh i know it's it downloaded but it if it can't the, night, the dark hour just starts up. <laughs> no. or you go into the midnight channel yeah and, uh, <sighs> like, oh man that, i mean that's what i did last year for let's go pikachu and eevee turn of midnight i was i was on i was in i like i like let's go pikachu it was a lot of fun it, it was a pokemon game. it was it was a it was an experiment yeah so i think it was more them testing what they can do on the switch more so than trying to get a new pokemon yeah yeah Yeah. all right do we want to move over to what we've been watching well sounds like because i'm pretty sure no one else is playing anything (laughs) i'm I'm playing a bunch of it but like pokemon's the main thing that's what i wanted to like focus in on i'm going for that platinum and beat saber (laughs) 
Oh yeah, you were telling me about that. Yeah. Earlier. What do you have to do? Super expert every song. And... I have to get uh, full combos on four more expert songs, and then I have to get because they don't overlap. I gotta get fifteen full combos on, or I gotta get a full combo on fifteen different hard difficulty songs and fifteen S ranks on hard difficulty songs. Mm. I, I hate it. And Real. you don't even do most of the songs on hard at all, do you? No. You just go straight to expert. They'll, they'll, they'll be easy to get. They'll just take time. Yeah. So that we were talking down. about that on the way up here. It's like the old like Tar Heel and Rock Band games yeah. would do that. They don't overlap. It's not like if you beat them on expert, you get it for hard, too. That's kind of annoying. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I wonder if they could make this... I don't even know if they yeah. could make the trophies work that way. I, mean, I don't know. If how they that can, they do it all I the mean, time with other games. At, oh, they do? at yeah. the same time, I'm so glad I got the SS rank uh -huh. one because it's like you have to on expert difficulty, no modifiers, get an SS rank. Just mm -hmm. once? Just once. But that means you have to get a full combo and you have to cut the beats, cut the blocks on the beat precisely and mm -hmm. like the like a clean cut. Like yeah, no, yeah. If you get too many in like angled cuts slightly or like off yeah you start losing points for it and it drops your rank down to s that's insane yeah, yeah that is insane yeah and so, especially with the you yeah. know ps vr it's not yeah it's not like oculus rift or something where it's like the most accurate yeah yeah, yeah. it's a little bit more because it relies on different kind of sensors yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it, it's more of like that. Yeah. And your controllers are a little beat up. Yeah, to be honest. <laughs> they've been through the ring. But I got it. I got it on a song that I like played like once or twice and stuff like that. So I was like really uh, surprised. I was just like, because I got to the end. Oops! I, I accidentally did SS. I, I got it. I got it actually twice. But the first time I got it, I left on the Insta fail modifier, which doesn't do anything oh. but restart the song. It it ends the game if you miss one. And stuff like that. Oh, yeah. That's, but it doesn't add anything to it. It just ends this song. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this doesn't count. And I got it. SS rank. And the trophy didn't pop. And I was just like, oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why would... Ugh. Yeah. That's annoying. So, but I mean, it is a modifier. It is isn't displayed as modifier, so... Oh, I'm proud of you. Like, how much time you spend Beat Saber? It's about time you go and I know. Yeah, I know. Like, like, because the campaign, I was looking at the campaign. I was like, man, this is so hard. And then after I started playing more Expert Plus songs and stuff like that, I went back to it. I actually like beat it in like the day I was doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, oh, just, cause nice. when, when I used to play Guitar Hero a lot, it was just investing the time to for a few hours to go and mm -hmm. beat all the other songs and get yeah. it out of the way. It, I mean, it, like campaign was kind of a challenge and stuff like that because it had you doing weird stuff. Yeah. With it and stuff like it's it's like you have to. You can't get over 30 combo and stuff like that, but at the same, and then there's a, what's it called? One where you have to miss a, like 20 notes within the song, but like mm -hmm. missing like, you know, two will drop your health down to like nothing. Yeah. So you gotta let yeah. it fill out more and miss some more, drop it down. Yeah. That's but, crazy. As long, as long as they don't have like marathon style achievements or trophies. Yeah, those nothing are the like worst. that. Because I remember back in the day in a rock band, when a friend of mine, we, uh, we had to set aside a day because it was play the entire endless playlist so it's uh every song from the top of the list to the bottom of the list all in a row you have to play it all through and you can't hit the start button to stop and it's about an eight hour playlist oh my god that's why i don't know it's just like why they would want... they do that because you're a rock band that's a bad decision yeah so we, we sat there and we're like okay how Whoever's do we want to do idea this? was that yeah, that that person shouldn't but you be did making it. games. Yeah, we did it because he played. But they did it. So that person shouldn't make games. He played drums, but he was like, "There's no way we're going to have the stamina to get through the drums on it." So we just got a guitar and we just passed it back and forth and nice. got through it. And you have to play it on expert. So. Right, right. You have to play it on. That's. Yeah. I don't like the sound <laughs> of that. It was it was a grueling day, but we did it. <laughs> As long and, as there's not marathon achievements, those are the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No marathon achievements. Oh, yeah. my. And same. Oh. All right, now back to what we've been watching. What we've been watching. Who wants to go first? I can go first. I have, I've watched very little since last time because, <laughs> what, we had Friday and Saturday, we were busy last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Luigi's Mansion came out. Yeah. On Thursday. Yeah. Yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> So I I have not I have not had a lot of time to sit down and watch any shows. Plus, last week my sleep schedule was all kinds of messed up. Same. same. So oh, as, whenever too. I got home, 
I was like dead in an hour. Yeah. So I couldn't watch anything even if I wanted to. I was just gone. Mm-hmm. I think I did try it once and I couldn't make it through a single episode. Mm-hmm. Which just made it harder when I picked it up a little bit earlier today and was like, wait, did I watch this? Yeah. I was like, no, no, I didn't. So the three shows that I have watched, <laughs> I watched one episode of SAO, so I'm caught up on that until nice. tomorrow. Nice. Still loving it. The most recent episode gave us a little bit more insight into what is going on. So right. now instead of just things happening, we're being like, okay, these are things that are happening. Now we understand why they're happening, right? which is great. And it kind of set up the things that are going to happen and then how stuff is going to play out a little bit more for the rest of the season. So I'm very excited. Uh, I've watched the most recent episode of Fire Force. Hey. Nice. Fire Force is great. Yeah. I love Fire Force. I'm enjoying it. David Productions is just killing it with this show it's really good this i'm this surprised it's episode, still going they have had they had a wall oh, the fight scene they they had some fight scenes in this one and they were just amazing like it's just it's so good mm-hmm. i i love this show i really do it's it's so so excellent it's an enjoyable it's, show. it's a recurring thing that happens on the podcast and it's then, fire force is brought up and it's just Love the show. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And then um, Dr. Stone. Yeah. Dr. Stone is doing... It's actually really, See, really good. Dr. Stone we have more to talk about because it's the uh, it's the one that we were all bashed <laughs> at the beginning. And then we're like, okay, we'll give it a second chance. We did, I, yeah. I was going to give it a second chance regardless. Yeah. Because I know it gets better along the way. Yeah. It's just that first episode was not good. It, it, did not, it was not good. It didn't yeah. do justice. Like, seriously. So I'm, what? 14 episodes in at this point or something like that i think i'm around that point yeah i i, I, don't, I don't know, know. exactly what the, i'm still at the fight the fight yeah. competition i don't actually. remember what the count was um but anyway i'm i'm caught up and from the point where uh senku and i guess it's just senku yeah because the other two people who got uh you yeah, know, unstoned, different, unpetrified. Position, yeah. They they kind of split up at some point. <gasps> we still haven't seen them again at all. Not even that's like, crazy. It's not that's... even like a cut back to them. We have not seen their characters at all, aside from maybe a flashback or two, but not like them currently. That at is all. weird. It's it's been only Senku in this village that he's gone to. That's it. Mm-hmm. So we have no idea like what's really going on there, but I think we've hit a point where it's going to kind of come back. They kind of finished the little arc with Senku in the village, tying things up there. And now I think we're going to go back and then see what happens maybe between the two or maybe just at the other one, like what was going on while Senku was right, doing this. Right, right. Because Senku working at the village doing all this stuff was... It's taking some time. <laughs> it, I think He's it been was, there for a while. It was a buildup, I think think the time period was six months ish have yes. passed since he like went over there something like that so time's he's passed. he's been there a while i so believe it some time has passed but uh it's really cool yeah. it i'm i'm happy with the way things played out i really like how they actually do like actual science stuff in the show like there's actual <laughs> research and stuff into it mm-hmm. it's kind of cheesy a little bit corny but it owns it 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 yeah. knows that it's like this is kind of ridiculous. He's just like, for the love of science, I'm going to do this. Get excited. Right? Get excited. <laughs> Get excited. <laughs> and it's just, he does his thing. He fixes things. He shows people. He's, He's like, just, I'm it's just like, build a craft and say, Get excited. What if, what if, if someone, some glass. Get yeah, excited. <laughs> exactly. It's just like, what if someone who knew how things work, like not even, yeah. Even just forget about like him just actually being a genius with some of the science stuff. Just having an idea how, anything works and then going to like primitive people and just being like look i can take lightning and mm-hmm. i can make this <laughs> I, I <don't, laughs> he's just like what <laughs> I, I, I don't know if i mentioned it last episode but that point where uh what's it called when they were climbing on the roof and they made the light mm-hmm. bulb and so that yeah i was kind of that was a little special moment i it thought was. that was, i thought that was like a little special it it i'm very happy yeah. with this show mm-hmm. i'm i'm so special <laughs> I am I'm so, so glad that it has been much better 
than I expected it to be after that first episode. Yeah. The first episode was... It was not strong. The first episode was a mess. Well, it, I think the problem was the first episode came on too strong. Yeah. Like, it just hits you and you're like, I was not ready for this. Because, like... I think the same thing with God was like... Saying, <laughs> we mentioned... No, well, there's more... We, we mentioned it before. Like, the main character felt like a dirty, like, Reddit poster. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, an yeah. I am very smart, like... Yeah. Yeah. But it's... It's good. So, anyone who watched the first episode and was like, I'm never watching that again, Yeah, give it a chance. It does get a lot better. The characters grow on you. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird. It's quirky at points, but it's fun. It's a, it's a good show. There's something to it. So, all right. Cool. That's it for me. That's literally all I've watched in the last two weeks, unfortunately. <laughs> I'll get through my stuff. Okay. I've been watching some of this other seasonal stuff. It's okay. the... Uh, more generic isekai stuff that's already going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to be the. I just want to be average girls. There's mm-hmm. a lot of them, man. It's, yeah, it's, there it's are surprising. a lot of isekai. Yeah, the girl that just wants to be average. It's just it's so that opening is so adorable to watch. The <laughs> the the little dance that they do is just so adorable to watch, and they're just fun characters. Right. Like I don't think it feels like they're not taking anything seriously, but they're starting to throw in little like backstory to the characters because they said to them like they're all living in the same room but they don't know really nobody's mentioned their background right, right, right. but the latest episode the fire girl finally they start showing a little bit of her background and uh ah. how she has potentially killed somebody before and what? yeah it's, it's starting to get a little dark okay. it's, it's probably going to be like generic dark Okay, but, yeah, it's but probably going to be like nothing serious. But that she's makes like sense. No, she, she straight up murdered somebody. She really did. <laughs> yeah, but it, okay. was, but it was, uh, they're, they're adding backstory. Because I'm, I'm just thinking of what's it called, the Let's Play anime I watched earlier. That, that <laughs> An episode ended with a girl saying like, I killed my brother and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then they showed the next episode. And it's like, yeah. no, she just feels responsible for her brother's death. <laughs> no, like, so this one. Her brother committed suicide, I think. <laughs> and I was thinking, she's like, it's my fault. <laughs> no, one of those. About that, Chase. No, no, the fact that she. Wow. The, the fact that she's like, I'm a murderer now. <laughs> yeah. If one yeah, of the, that one is, of those, that, I mean, that's a little bit extreme. One but, of those tropes. You know, some people. Like this one, that. it's, uh, the, there's a uh, mission for escorting merchants. Okay. And she immediately took up the, uh, the quest without consulting the group and they're like it's okay you know we're all a, we're, we're all a team so mm. we'll get through this together right, right. and then she's just very adamant about doing it some bandits attack and then when they're fighting the leader of the bandits she has a flashback of her father being killed by bandits as a merchant and then there's a scene where she's just lighting the dude that killed her father on fire oh and then she asked the other party members, like, have you ever killed anybody before? And then episode cut. <laughs> nice. So. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It, it's kind of weird to think about with how, like, colorful the show is. Right, and right. how, like, bubbly the yeah. characters are. Is this, is this Madoka? <laughs> it's, not, it's not Madoka. The, it, what, what episode was that? Uh, this is episode four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because Madoka was all warm and fuzzy for like what the first so, two episodes. I mean, or... so to be fair, you could see a lot of that coming. Like, oh yeah. If you were paying attention, you saw. Yeah. It. So, I don't. I don't like. I didn't get too surprised and stuff like that, but I, I didn't realize that there was a lot more to Madoka until yeah. it actually. Madoka started. was just frustrating to watch, though. I wanted to drop it like seven different times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was just like, I can't, yeah. I can't feel I like. Just... It, it's always everything's so tense in it yeah and like, it's just like Ooh. every episode i was just like make your wish madoka just do it yeah. <laughs> just do it I, I felt that way with Ava gillian too yeah actually because yeah. Ava, Ava was just like man why just stop it everyone yeah <laughs> but my surprisingly this show is actually pretty enjoyable the uh little backstory they're throwing in the characters powering up is pretty good if you want just fun isekai it, it's it's a good pickup nice. one thing i dropped though the uh yeah, I dropped something. Is it the prodigies? I already dropped that. Whoa! <laughs> I dropped that a long time ago. But the next thing I dropped was the uh, because of the magician, well, right? Wait, wait, yeah. yeah. Which one? That's, I think you dropped that before. Uh, no, not that one. The next one I dropped was the the wrestling dude. Really? No! Yeah. I actually, I can't stand it anymore. What? Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing's new happening. So but as, it's funny. As a main character, he is a horrible person. <laughs> 
I mean, yeah, I got that. <laughs> I mean, episode, yeah, so I knew yeah. that from the first episode. So it's just like, if anything happens, he just wants to hug. He's like, let me just cuddle it. Like, there's zero character development. Like, you can literally just yeah, yeah, yeah. take up the plot from each episode and just paste it onto the next episode. Oh, like, just uh, the world. like a restaurant in the New World. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I just expected no it to be it. more... Mm-hmm. So it's like not even the comedy really holds it up and can carry yeah, it. Yeah, it's the same. I expected comedy. it to be really funny though. It's the same comedy. That every scene with episode. the ant at the end though. Like I like the ant. The ant's cool, but it's just like they use the same jokes all the time. They're just playing to their tropes nonstop. Oh, okay. And yeah, that there's, is. That's there's great. literally no story progression. Like. Yeah. Like, Hina Matsuri did comedy well and mm-hmm. so that because yeah. it threw in all that extra stuff with it. Yeah, because there's, like, a story progression. And this, episode two, is, like, the same as, like, episode five. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah that's okay. just not good. Nothing new's happening. That's not the way it should be. I'll I'll start watching some more and then I'll see yeah, where I Yeah, like, think for yourself, it's, it's just... It's I don't have Funimation, so I can't even watch it yet, but... It's, it's, it's not If you guys good. are saying it's... I mean, if you're saying it's not bad, and we, we usually agree on stuff like yeah. that, I've I've lost oh, no. all interest in it. No, that that to me sounds like maybe there's only one show on Funimation that I need Funimation for. Azure Lane. No, no, it's not that. It's the uh, Cautious Hero. Cautious Hero, which is Ooh. getting good and oh, fun. Man. I I I watched that one. That was uh, it's good. It's pretty fun. It's good. They're introducing more characters. They're having more fun with it. He's getting more overpowered. It's there's more, there's no yeah. there's no breaks. On they also one. put a lot of production value into that one who's who's doing that There's, is that white fox i think that's white fox i think so i'm not gonna look it up but i'm having it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun because there's uh there's they have a lot of like running jokes but they keep expanding on them and they keep adding more jokes and then okay. there's obvious what the other shows should be doing they're doing the cautious hero is doing so yeah, cautious like, hero is rising up they're, they're, rise up is yes they're doing it right they're having fun with it they're progressing the story they're doing whatever they want nice it's good awesome yeah and uh i've been watching i've been re-watching a lot of stuff too <gasps> from that whole isekai kick yeah yeah so i rewatched uh saga of tanya the evil I still Yay! watched it. I it's, mean to. I've it's heard a lot such of fun. good things. I forgot how good the opening and ending were. Just, I like the opening. I wasn't a huge fan of the ending. I like the ending. But yeah. But it's uh it's just there's there's not a lot of shows that involve like military and military tactics mm-hmm. and then adding a magical girl to it, essentially. <laughs> who's yeah, who's, you know, Nuts crazy. Yeah, is the yeah, show yeah. like lighthearted at all, or uh, it's just actually like some a lighthearted dark... moments? Yeah, it, okay. I think it doesn't the episodes don't they end with like a lighthearted moment? Usually, yeah. yeah, like after the credits and stuff like that. The yeah. theme and stuff they'll like cut back and they'll like yeah. do like a little gag. So or like, like, gotcha. So yeah. like, there's a it's lighthearted enough that because you know Tanya is strong enough to get through any situation. Yeah. It's just figuring out the tactics and the thought process about how they're going to go about okay. doing it. And then the fight animations are all really good and stuff like that. It's just, it's a neat thing because it's, it's essentially Europe, but they combine World War One and World War Two. Oh, so, okay. So it is kind of a fresh thing. Yeah, it's not like a it's like, one necessarily like a, a set in stone history. They're kind of making yeah, their own. Yeah, because gotcha. it's the first World War of that, that world. But it's like it's trench warfare, so it's like small ground at a time. But the nations involved are like their World War Two iteration, except for Germany. They're not fascist. It's their empire version. So their World War One version. Okay. Because yeah. I don't think you can have fascism. Yeah. That's Because <laughs> like in uh in the movie, I talked about it before. Where they fight the Russians, and they're she keeps calling them commies. So. <laughs> easy so yeah it's it's combining world war one and world war two it's a lot of fun if you're really into like sort of military history military tactics for an anime it's really good fictional so yeah okay yeah and then uh alter- alternative history and then i rewatched all three seasons of overlord all three all three seasons even the lizard overlord. arc even the lizard arc why because it's actually not that many episodes it's like five episodes in most that's what i didn't make it past yeah it's like <laughs> i this, still haven't <laughs> man, i didn't even watch season two of overlord i wasn't that big of a fan of it's, it. it's like five episodes of season two i like season one season one certainly season was one is slow really good though. but the second part of season two is really good okay and then um still need to give it a chance i just haven't got back to it <laughs> the, the only thing you need to get to is midway through season three 
when they do the invasion of Nazarick. Good. Like uh, he's trying to get the the tomb, great tomb of Nazareth out to the world to make them their own nation. Mm. So adventurers go in as a, a quest under a feudal lord, and they just get slaughtered inside the tomb. It's like the best part of Overlord. Mm. So nice. I re- I rewatched all all three seasons of that just kind of as a as a side thing just to get it out of the way. I was just, the isekai kick. It was going strong. Yeah. There, yeah. But the biggest thing is I started watching Vinland Saga done by Wit Studio. Yeah. Okay. Holy cow, it is really good. I've heard amazing things about Vinland Saga. Because it's loosely based on real history. Yeah. With like the characters in it. Yeah. I mean, obviously they don't have their anime superpowers. But right. it's, it's loosely based on real history. And it is, it is phenomenal. I, I have like, I've literally only heard that it is amazing yeah. i don't think i've heard any other opinion besides it's amazing they are not holding like all the animation is clean all the fights are good the character development's good like the main character is like a broody kid right but right, like right. everything is explained very well of why he's acting the way he's acting I so like that. they all the characters are fleshed out pretty well they um it's it's really good. if you're really into history, especially Viking history, mm-hmm. and how like brutal and how much they fight. Like there's a fight pretty much every episode, Dang. and they don't hold back. Like they don't censor a whole lot. They're cutting people's heads off. They're cutting people in half. Limbs are being chopped off. Fingers are being chopped off. Like it is. That's rude. They are sticking it like Viking history. Dang. It is really good. Okay. Yeah. So that's all. That's all I've been getting into. All right. All right. Why don't, well, you, why don't you take us to the end here, Chase? Yeah, I'll focus on a couple things. I have been watch. I have been watching. A, I've been watching some stuff, but I'm only gonna bring up like a couple of things and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know one thing you need to make. I know one thing you need to uh, mention. Mix. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, that was that was <laughs> That's good a dumpster it. fire. So me and Eric are almost done with mix. So we're gonna finish it tomorrow. Oh, oh my god. We we literally said so. What was it? I was because Funimation always has crappy connection problems in the morning all the what time yeah, for some reason. That? I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> but I told him, I said, if it doesn't work in three tries, we both hard drop mix on the spot right here. So that it worked the first time though. <laughs> so um, it was every single episode it worked. Every single episode it worked just fine. And so that it's like someone heard me say that and they're just like, Amp it up. We need someone watching the show. <laughs> Funimation was like <laughs> Stop! Yeah. There are only viewers. We, yeah, yeah. we gotta have it. We can't lose our mix yeah. customers. Yes, so, we're only here for mix. <laughs> they, we, what is that? Ten dollars? <laughs> we gotta make it every month. Uh, <sighs> we got. We gotta keep the lights on. We got uh, 20, 20 episodes we watch, and they actually are starting to play baseball now. They finally played baseball. Yeah. It, Wait, a lot of it's, it's been a to play baseball. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like episode sixteen. They finally played baseball. What? And it was. It, it was like four, 12, 12 or 13 or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was late. But yeah, it, and their matches were very anticlimactic because they yeah. would just like end like uh, an inning before they should have. There's just so many them. plot holes and things that don't make sense. Yeah. And every, everyone everyone knows everything about baseball. Yeah. But yet at the same, and everyone knows that there was this great Mace uh, pitcher back in the day, back how many years ago? Some 30, 30, years, 30 ago. years ago, and stuff like that. There was yeah. this great high school level, may say, pitcher. Yeah. And yeah, they keep talking about him. And they're like, these, what, what does it say? It says your battery's running low, dude. <laughs> We're good. Why is your computer plugged Did you in? you unplug it? Is no. it unplugged up there? I think it's Gucci. Back to mix. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Let's just hurry. <laughs> Let's just hurry. It's we're like, near. We're near the cutoff time to, anyway. Anyway, the uh, mix mix is. They're slowly writing characters out, and I don't understand why. Like Ichiban. Yeah, like, Ichiban has no screen time. Ichiban's been what? well. No, he did have the bowling scene. Remember? Well, like he has screen time, but like he doesn't play baseball. Yeah, and they're just, they're they're like pushing him out to the side. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. But that's mix. Yes. Uh, let's see. I also started watching. What you seem really nervous. Should we? No, I'm just looking at your screen and looking at my screen. They look a bit oh, different. Okay. <laughs> I'm just just doing one thing. You, you just keep going. I'll, I'll just keep going, man. You're extending this. We just I'll want to get through it to save his keep, battery. Look, I'll just look, keep save anyway, I started watching. I started watching. I finished Fairy Tale final season. It's oh, garbage. 
Thank it, you. It is literally like, oh my goodness. How do you make a show like this? No one dies at the end. The people who did die at the end came back or they got reincarnated as themselves who look exactly like themselves and have the same dirty bare feet that they had before they died. <laughs> the same dirty bare feet. <laughs> so upset. They're just walking around and it's like, hey guys, we're always fairy tale. We'll live long forever and we'll never die so live long fairy tale Same goodbye fairy tale i'm not watching your s- retarded movies side Whoa. stories that you got. i can say that i'm retarded <laughs> <laughs> for watching fairy tale yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The, wow. the fairy tale made me <laughs> wow Jeez. Yeah. i man what a waste of time i'm kind of i am so upset i watched this 328 episode show we're just glad this you year. see it from our viewpoint no i always did I can't wait for Black Clover <laughs> to disappoint you. Black Clover will never, dude. <laughs> Gla- the, hey, the, Black Clover will never leave him. The the I, that, that's what you said about Azure Lane too. <laughs> so, speaking of Azure Lane, I started watching uh, more of that. I watched a couple of shows. I'm actually watching the dub because it's really weird. But do are they doing accents in the Japanese? No, they have their straight. They're just talking in like Japanese. Like Japanese. Okay, so they every character has it. Has whatever okay. accent they're from yeah. and stuff like that in this one, is except it good except or bad? except like the the American ships and the Japanese ships don't have an accent. They yeah. all they talk normal and stuff but like that. The, the, Royal the, Navy, Bri- yeah. the British ships they have their accents. The German ships they have their accents. Oh boy, yeah. And the China the Chinese <laughs> ships, bless you. I don't think they had an accent, but so, I, it was at the end of episode three. Yeah, I, it's weirdly all pretty good actually. Like I'm not, I don't think it's bad. Wow, well, I'm, so I'm watching. Yeah, to, to me it would be weird because in every version of Azure Lane, the, the game, they mm-hmm. all use the Japanese voice. Even the Chinese version, they use Japanese voice. Yeah, yeah. So and like, like I'm just watching. I was like, this. I've I've seen shows where, that have done like accents before, oh, and it just doesn't good. work. There's yeah. there's that one stupid, ch- like, I, I don't need. He's <laughs> so upset right now. now. Yeah, fairy sorry, tale sorry, fairy tale. This. Thanks, fairy tale. But yeah, there was there was one show that like. Oh man, it had, they had German accents for the whole thing, and it was just like, "Please stop talking, <laughs> stop talking!" And, but they kept talking, and it was so right. bad. And so like, this one, I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it. I, 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 I kind of like it more. I, it might just be me, but I, I feel like I've heard of bad accents before mm. and stuff like that. And yeah. this is all right to good accents. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I started watching the second seasons of uh, the the. Um, I mean, what is that thing? There's there's one anime that aired like two seasons ago where they play those old like Japanese instruments and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm watching the second season of it. It's actually getting better than the first season because the first <laughs> season was just kind of mediocre. And I was like, oh, okay, this is really good. Watching the second season of Fairy Gone. That's pretty okay. cool. Still kind of stupid. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, like... The first season looked good. It looked good and looked cool. And it's like, these are like medieval Persona users. Yeah. So like, the animation was clunky uh-huh. to the point where it's like, it just didn't look right with the fight scenes and stuff like that. It yeah. looks like... like, And there was a lot of talking, like, sword swing, talk. You, can, you Man, this guy's really strong. How did you get so powerful? Sword swing. It's because I trained in the mountains so long ago, and that's how how oh, I became so strong. Sword swing. Yeah, it's PA works. Yeah, so it's like it shouldn't be, look like that. And all their pers- slice of life. All their personas are all CGI, <laughs> so it's making me think of Trinity Souls. Oh, and so bad. That's yeah. not good. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that's actually getting. I'm liking it more. Season two is a good season for the fairy time. What else? <laughs> I started watching the first episode of No Guns Life. Uh huh. Main character's head is a revolver. Yeah. Just straight up. It's yeah. literally like back there. And it like he uh what's it called? It's he, I don't even know if it has ammo in it or something like that, but he's like, no one pulls my trigger unless I trust him. <laughs> like fully so I, and I don't trust anyone. <laughs> so, I need to see just random still images from that show to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like everybody... it's, lit- it's literally a revolver. Yeah, so like, I'm just like, oh, what? People said the first episode was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It, it It's reminded Ooh. me a lot of uh, Kick Eye Sense and Blood Blockade Battlefront. And that's why too. I'm interested because yeah. I loved Blood Blockade it's, Battlefront. It's not as goofy, Especially I'd say. Especially the ED for the first season. Yeah. It's no uh, no guns life isn't as goofy as that, 
Mm -hmm. okay. but it, it still feels like it. There's points where you're like, okay, I see where this is like that and stuff. Like that. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying that. I'm excited to see where that goes. There's another one I'm watching. It's called uh, Stars Align. That's the English title for it. What's this called? It's Hoshi I No Sora. Hoshi I No Sora? Yeah. Anyway, it's a it's a it's a light tennis club anime. It's about a light tennis club. Didn't even know that was a thing. Different than tennis, it's light tennis. Yes, light okay. tennis club. And there's uh at their school there's a girls team and a boys team and the girls team is super competitive and stuff like that. Whereas the boys team is just like uh, we're, we're just... getting out of other having to be in another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, just yeah, they're like let's just let's just play some light tennis and like have fun and stuff okay. like that you and same. yeah anyway their club isn't producing results so they're getting friends to shut down and stuff like that yep uh this kid uh moves in this uh exchange student of transfer course. student comes uh, yeah. naturally yeah comes in main character main character on the um what's it called on the light tennis boys club and stuff like that the president of that one or whatever he's just like I remember him from the past. Of we course. were friends before and stuff like that. And he remembers my brother and stuff. And so <laughs> he, he remembers my brother. Yeah, he throws stuff. him a book and stuff like that. And he's like, my brother told me to do this. Also, I need to talk to you later. Talk to him later. He's like, you should join the club. And he's like, no, man, I'm too busy and stuff like that. Also, keep in mind that this exchange transfer student kid, he can run really fast. Okay, uh, of course. Yeah, yeah, he can, he run, can run really, really fast. fast. Anyway, he's like, no. And he leaves and stuff like that. And then he comes back and like the next day in this friend... Uh, the president's like sobbing him again. He's like, "Listen, I know things are rough at your house, and, uh, like, <laughs> like, but I can listen, and I know money's tight for you guys and stuff, but I can help." And then he's oh, like, what? "He's like, he's like, no thanks, man." He's like, "Uh, what's it called?" He starts walking away and stuff like that. And he's like, "Yeah, like you want you want me to play and stuff like that? All right, cough up the cash and stuff like that." And the guy's like, "Oh." And he's like, that's what I thought. He walks past him and stuff like that. And the guy turns around and he's like, I'll give you 4,000 yen for three months. <laughs> or, <laughs> for, I think it was 40,000 yen. Sorry, I think I butchered that and stuff like that. And he's just like, Nani? And like, <laughs> like he, he just doesn't Nani understand. Yeah. He's, he's like, wait, he's actually going to pay me to like play light tennis and stuff like that? And he's like, here, use this racket. Take this and stuff like that. And he's like, he goes home confused and stuff like that. And the other guy, he goes home excited because he's like, we're going to be able to keep our club and stuff. And uh, yes. what's it called? And then the main character gets home and he's just like cooking and just stuff like that. Quick, which one's the main character? The the exchange student? The the exchange student is the main character. Okay. Yeah. And then there's the president. So he's they're, they're both kind of the main, but you can okay. see, you can tell the transfer students. Gotcha. The character just wanted to make sure. Like anyway, he's cooking at home and stuff like that. And he hears a knock on the door, goes over, looks through the eye hole and stuff like that can't see anything it cuts to the outside and there's someone putting their finger on the eye hole and stuff like that opens the door it's his dad who uh his his who got divorced with his mom and stuff like that comes in he's like so where are you guys keeping the cash and stuff like that he's like we don't have any dad beats the son up <laughs> what <laughs> yes and then he's like your mom wouldn't have this money from me and stuff like that beats it up reaches into the ac unit on the top pulls it out and he's like all right i'll be back next month leaves end of the episode literally nothing nothing like that edgy until that last like two minutes of the episode was it like what? done like comedy style no 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 it was done super serious what the what? that's what hey I would, don't dude, watch watch the language man <laughs> <laughs> that what I'm I'm excited to see where the show goes because I'm just like, I'm I have so, so many confused. questions. Yeah, 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 only excited with the kind of updates you're going to give us about it, dude. I I mean, you should watch it. It's a, it's a really good show from what I got from the first episode. I think okay. One, se one second, let me let that just this. came out of nowhere. Let me pull this up. Yeah, it's in top 800 on Mal. Right I'm pretty now. sure you already it, told me about this before. It's like and I'm still surprised. You haven't really been seen that much. Oh, it's good. Okay. Yeah, like it's it's. It does. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like com. The way you're explaining it, it looked like it was gonna be bright comedy colors. It is. <laughs> it <laughs> is. Not even F? Yeah, yeah. Like, like I don't don't know. Don't, don't no no no. no I don't like, want to see any more. Like yeah, I mean. This is what it like looks like. It's okay, like, yeah, I thought it was gonna be yeah, like. Stop like, talking about what it looks sorry, like. Sorry, sorry, I'm. The, the viewers can't see. They can't see it anyway. Unless there's a light truck. tennis club anime called us. Uh, oh, you have the toe start. fungus. <laughs> Apparently, I do. <laughs> what? <laughs> to get rid of that. Anyway, that's all I got. Oh. And you guys have anything else? Nationals, world, 
champions let in hear baseball. It. Let them hear it. I went to a world. I went to a World Series game. One of the greatest experiences of my life. I'm glad I went. Go Nats. They lost because you were there, though. Well, you literally kidding. said you don't even care if the Nats actually win or lose. So. <laughs> You're like, honestly, if they lose, I don't care. I don't watch baseball. But after watching that series, I was hype ass. <laughs> it's the only series in any sports ever in history where every single away game was won. No home game was won. Really? Yep. That's the only time that's ever happened. In any series in any sports ever. That's insane. The away team won. But that's it. That's all I got. Go Nets. Wow. Go Nets. Go Nets. Anyway, that's going to be the end of our episode. Um, this has been Bakataka Season 2, Episode 8. With us, as always, has been sitting on the left. It's George. Middle. Eric. And I'm on the right. I'm Chase. Don't forget to flex on them haters. And like down below. And subscribe. Ring that and, bell. And comment. And don't forget. <laughs> Yeah, separate yeah. thoughts and leave a comment yeah. we read them all yeah. oh no oh, oh is, it off? Off? is it, it off is it off did it turn off it's off is it off Pain. it's off <laughs> is that no no it's still on bro it yeah. might be off anyway don't forget to uh <laughs> don't forget to don't forget that if i can always come right to worry about boom's link and uh we'll see you all next time later Peace, this is ending. We've got to stop the recording. Chase's computer is going off. <laughs> I'm really glad mine's still Did it work? on now. I don't know. Why does it unplug? You unplugged it. I didn't unplug that. You unplugged it. There wasn't even anything plugged in there. There was just an empty plug with my charger. <laughs> well, at least the uh. Actually, the Wii was plugged in I'm, there. I'm going. I'm watch this. I'm gonna turn this on. It's just... It deletes everything in the computer. It, it probably, it probably didn't record. That's Don't worry, that's why we have the backup. <laughs> that's why we have the backup. <laughs> We're so smart. Wait. No. <laughs> I, I forgot this is unplugged. I'm still recording. <laughs> because my computer was plugged in. <gasps> wow, it's still recording. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Ending this recording. You hit stop, not pause. Okay, wait a minute.